Baby, I don't really know what you want to Maybe you can show me what you can do Or we can turn up if you want to Dance all night if you want to Drinks all night if you want to Change your whole life for me gone do Make you feel nice for me gone do Hey guys, welcome back to my channel It's your girl Pink Sims and I'm back again with another tutorial video so this is a vid this was actually a video that was highly requested it's not the first the second or the third time somebody has asked me to do it but something always went wrong when i tried to make the video and i'm finally getting around to it now all right so let me just show you what the question is all right so basically subscribers have been asking me how to fix as you can see here erin asks she says she hates it when the mods make her sims have red stuff with question marks which in other words is when you have broken or missing broken mods or missing meshes from your game so i'm just gonna lay down some foundation just so you guys are on track and understand exactly what meshes are and how to get rid of it okay so first of all let me just give you a quick little read on what meshes are all right so a mesh in the sims 4 game is the shape of the objects as you can see since the creator says that their cc requires a mesh it means you need to download the shape of the object from somewhere else so basically persons who create cc content they require a mesh and a texture for their cc right now sometimes persons who are more versed in creating CC, they will recreate, they will create, sorry, the meshes and the texture and everything. So when you download a package file, it has everything that you need in it and it shows up perfectly in your game. All right. For some persons, they recolor custom content and so they have to link back to the mesh of a CC creator and you have to put both the mesh and the recolor into your game for them to show up. All right. So for example, here, I have some stuff preloaded on my screen. So as you can see right here, um in the description of this item it says cross back bow swimsuit 15 patterns new mesh what new mesh implicates is that or what it means is that when you download this item from the sims resource it's going to show up in game and you don't need to download an additional file i'm just going to show you that real quick in my sims game which is already preloaded let me turn this down all right so i'm here with bell wyatt i just made some random sims like real quick just for tutorial purposes and this is judy can't pronounce her last name and as i said before i already went ahead and downloaded the cc all right so as you can see it's right here when i put it on her it just shows up no problems no clipping not clipping no question marks no nothing all right so that's what happens when you download a cc that already has a mesh now most times a cc will already have a mesh included in the package file However, if a, CC, if a CC creator does upload something that requires a mesh, they will put it in the description. Now, the example that I have for you today is this. Now, on, I just searched for CC and I found this in, a, in um, Google. I'm all over the place, but I found this in Google. Now, as you can see, it says pink zombie pancakes or cupcakes, athletic sweatshirts, mesh required. Like I said, most times somebody does not have most time that somebody recolors something they'll tell you that a mesh is required so as you can see it says it here again mesh required now when you click on this link it's going to take you to the sims resource all right so what's re what's really important about when you're downloading cc is to always read um it's always read the description and see if they tell you that a mesh is required or not all right so the main purpose of this video though is to show you how to fix those broken meshes but i'm just giving you some foundation so, you know, you can better understand going forward. So, as you can see, this is the same sweatshirt that I showed you previously before. As you scroll down, you'll see comments and then the description. Here she says, the mesh is not included. Please download this creation from Serenity. And she gives you the link. Now, I've already gone ahead and clicked on download and I already have it in game. Just to show you guys the same issue that you've been having with the question mark. So, uh, let me just click on bell. So if you just download the item and don't download the mesh, this is what you're going to see. Let me just click on tops real quick. Um, let me filter to custom content. All right. So as you can see, this is the top here. I have a, I've downloaded a few things in my game that did not have any meshes. So I could show you guys. So if I click on the top here, 
as you can see she is now covered with red and question marks and that is because i'm sorry i feel like i'm teaching a class i'm sorry you guys and that's because the mesh is missing from the game all right so right awesome so you guys saw one with mesh and one without mesh and now we have a general understanding of what it looks like with without a mesh now i'm going to show you guys let me just take it off real quick now i'm going to show you guys how to remove these from your game all right so what i like to do is as you can see the simmer i have right now has a lot of cc on her oh oh my gosh important information in order for you to remove broken seeds from your game, you're going to need two things. You're going to need The Sims 4, obviously, the game. And you're going to need The Sims 4 Trans... Oh, my God. What is it called? Importer. Sims 4 Train Porter. This is what you're going to use to identify the CC to either remove them from your game or fix the broken meshes. Now, um, I'm just going to give you a quick pro tip. I'm going to show... I'm going to link in the description box where you can go to get the sims 4 train porter let me just type it in real quick because all you have to do is type in sims 4 train porter in google but like i said i will link it in the description box below it's going to be the very first option on the screen and as you can see you just scroll down and you click download this file it's i think it's going to be in a zip you're going to unzip it i'll also link winwar which is app that you need to unzip zipped folders in order for them to be to work right you unzip it you install it onto your computer when you install it and you open it up it's going to populate on your screen just like this so you're going to always ensure that you're on all right and this will show you everything that you have whether you've downloaded something from the gallery or whatever you have in your game so as you can see the family that i created and i'm using now is already populated here but if it doesn't work like that for you you simply go i hope it's not too confusing i hope i'm not all over the place you're going to go into settings I'll go over a recap when I'm finished. Yeah. So you're going to go into settings. It's going to automatically be on auto detect. And that's and that will automatically find your Sims 4 game for you. And everything will populate on the left. Like you're seeing over here. If however it does not automatically detect for you. All you have to do is untick auto detect. You're going to go here. And click on the three dots. Click on it. And then you're going to find your Sims 4 game folder. Now, as you can see, this is where mine is located, which is Program Files, Origin Games, The Sims 4. Other persons might have to go into a much more lengthier process. For example, if you go into Documents, not Documents, my apologies. You go into this PC or your computer, you go into the local disk. And for some persons, it might be in Program Files. And then you would see The Sims 4. And that is what you'd click on and you'd click on OK and it would populate here. If you have any issues, let me know. But once you do that, everything will automatically populate here. OK, if you need me to do a separate tutorial on that, I could do that as well. But literally, that's all you need to do. So once you you have the Sims 4 train porter installed, because that's very important to have before you do this, you're going to go back into game. You're going to remove all CC from your Sim, all clothing from your Sim. Now, this is important because whatever item your Sims your sim has on, well, custom content that your Sim has on, I'm going to show you in a bit. It's going to show up in the Sims 4 tray importer. But remember, you're trying to identify broken mesh CC or CC that you want to remove. So as you can see here, I'm just going ahead. I'm taking off all CC of the Sim except for, as you can see, the skin that she has on I'm not gonna remove the skin and it shouldn't be a problem because I'm gonna show you guys why so she has on a skin no she has on CC here CC eyebrows but she doesn't have on CC clothes and that's where the problem lies so let me just go ahead and continue so you have to not you, you literally cannot skip this step you have to take off everything the sim has on because if you if you use CC you know that your sims will put on any random cc down in these outfit categories and you don't want to have to sift through so much cc when you're just trying to remove broken items from your game so this is the last bit all right so let me show you real quick so as i said before i downloaded i took out all my cc on my game actually and I'm just using the ones to show you guys. So, well, there's some left apparently. 
So as you can see, here is one that's broken. Now the first thing that you're gonna do, you, you're in the everyday category like you see me here. She has on nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the broken CC, which she now has on. I'm gonna then also create a next outfit. So outfit one has on this broken CC. And as for outfit two, I'm gonna put on a top that's also broken, this one. All right, for outfit three, and this is what you're gonna do until you have all have it have her clothes and all the items that you want to remove so this is three and then this is four so as you can see um, for look one she has on the full body broken CC for look two this one look three this one and look four this one and for me today, that's all the broken. Oh, this one is also broken. So let me just add it as look five because we're going to actually, this is the only one I'm going to use as an example to fix for you guys to show you that you can actually fix a CC that you really like and don't want to get rid of. So now she has five outfits, five broken CC. I'm going to just delete this toddler here because we don't want her CC to show up and I'm not about to take off all her clothes. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to delete her. All right, once you have her deleted, only person in your house now is Belle Wyatt. You're going to go ahead, you're going to click on save household. And you can just, you can save her as, as ugh, what am I saying? You can save her as broken CC. Okay, so just so that you can remember. Or right, I'll show you why. But save it as broken CC. Save the household name as broken CC. So you can easily find it. All right. And then you're going to go ahead and you're just going to save household to library. Once you've done that, if you go back into your Sims 4 train porter, as you can see, it already came up top. So right now, I have a household named Broken CC that if I go ahead on and click on it, all right, you're going to see General Files and CC. I'm going to li literally, guys, if you don't understand to this point, I will use timestamps in the video and I will go over everything once more in a more condensed format, just in case. So you have general, which just gives you general information about the sim. It tells you who created the sim, etc., etc. And um, if you go over to files, you will see your tray files for your sim. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. What's important here today is CC, right? So you're going to click on this tab right here. And sometimes it may take a while to load. Sometimes it will load really quickly. But as you can see now, we have a list of all the cc that the sim has on all right if you don't know what these color indicators mean i used to, I, I never knew myself but i went over here and i just highlighted these things and it, it shows you what's wrong so the blue items are installed they're per, they're working perfectly fine if you have green don't pay attention to that what's important is these three things right here so when you see red like we have here it means that something is not installed in your game when you have orange it means you have duplicates in your game so this is also helpful if you have more than one of something in your game right like you don't have an organized cc folder or you may have organized it but you put something in the wrong place due to an incorrect name or a sketchy name i can't remember right and then the orange one sorry the yellow one means overrides which uh, I'm not going to get into that today, but some persons who are heavily mod users like myself will have a lot of overrides in your game. But what's important is the red and the orange, okay? For today, just the red. So as you can see, I'm going to click on the sweatshirt. As you can see, the picture of the sweatshirt populates here, and there's a lot of red under it, which means that the mesh is missing. So there's one of two things you can choose to do you don't like the shirt you can't bother to find the shirt you just double click on here it takes you into your mods folder where you have the CC saved you simply go here you click delete or you right click and click delete and it will no longer be in your game another option that you have is to right click and select find on Google now when you select find on Google Sometimes you may have to search. Sometimes it's the very first one. As you can see, I'm going to click on it now. It comes up. It says mesh required. And it's going to take me to the CC. So wherever I got the CC from. Or wherever the CC originated. 
Now this does not always work because sometimes the name of the CC is not popular on Google. So no matter how you search for it, you can't find it. But sometimes you just gotta play you gotta play around a lot, especially if you want the CC. As you can see, I'm now here. I'm gonna go into the description. I'm gonna copy this. What am I doing? I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna make a new tab, paste it. And as you can see, she said this is the mesh. So I'm gonna download it and just show you guys that it's gonna work perfectly fine after getting the mesh. So as you can see, this is what she actually recolored. This is the original creator's item. If you go into creator notes, it doesn't say mesh required, it says new item. Um Recolor and allowed, yes, do not include mesh, which is why the person did not include the mesh. Because some terms are used by creators is for you not to include the mesh, but you can, right? But don't do it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit download. Wait a little bit, because that's what the Sims is so you got to wait for your downloads. And it's going to download, and then I'm going to put the mesh in the game along with the recolored item. I'm going to have both this, this creator's... Um, sweatshirt cc with her colors and then the new one at the recolors i'm going to show you in a bit but it's finished downloading i'm just going to delete the other items because i don't need them They're just for showing purposes as you can see some other stuff show up as well these items i will not remove but they're cc that was on the same like the eyebrows the, the hair and then this test top is actually mine and the mesh is not in the game i recolored it and this is another one. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. But if you want me to show you, I can also show you. Find on Google. Just to show you a second example. See where it says mesh needed. You just go in. It says required external mesh. It gives you the URL. You click on it. You get it. I'm going to go ahead and delete them though. Since I have no intention of using them for any other purposes. So I'm going to go here. Double click. Hit delete. It is... Okay, it can't be deleted because I'm currently in game. Let me exit the game. All right, so let me just continue. As soon as the game is exited, because you know, just like how you can't, you can't add and remove CC while you're playing The Sims 4. You have to exit the game. So here we are. Double clicking again, and I'm just going to delete this because I don't need it. And that one is gone. And then that was a CC. This is another one. I feel like this is the one we're fixing. Is it not? No, it's not. It's this one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one as well. I don't know if I, should, if I should fix two to show you guys. I think one. Sorry. I think one is enough. So I'm going to remove that as well. Okay. So we delete this other one. I go down some more. I see that I don't have anything else. If I click here. And then I go back on broken CC. As you can see only two items remain. And all the ones that I have deleted are already gone. And it's just this one. And the test stuff that I told you guys that I recolored myself, that's there. All right. So all is well. As you can see, it says three things are not installed because the sim that I saved to my gallery had three items on them and I deleted them from my game. So now it moves into the mods not installed section. I hope that was very easy for you guys to understand. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the new package that I downloaded into my Sims 4 mods folder. All right, so I'm just going to downloads real quick and mods. I have a shortcut for my mods folder, hence why I can just click over here. And I'm going to go into my clothes folder and I'm going to just drag. I hope it's this one. Let's see. Oh my God, where is the top? Okay. It's this one. It says Serenity Astray Top. And that's the only new CC I have. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop it into the folder. Now it's supposed to fix this sweatshirt here. Because this is the one that was recolored based on Serenity's top. So I'm just going to reload the game right now to show you guys that I fixed it. Alright. So while the game is loading in the background. I'm just going to run through everything once more. Alright. So... Every CC has two items. It has a mesh and it has a texture. Okay. 
most persons or a lot of CC creators create items that have both the mesh and the texture so you never have to worry you just have to put the package folder or file into your game okay but some I some persons recolor custom content and that's where you get misted meshes from if you don't have the mesh as well as the recolor it will not show up in your game all right so you need two apps in order to fix broken or missing meshes from your game and that's the sims 4 and the sims 4 train porter all of which apart from the sims 4 will be linked in the description box below once you have both those apps <laughs> installed or once you have the sims 4 train porter installed you're going to go into your cast you're going to start with a new sim you're going to take off everything off the sim every single every category you're going to remove all the clothing items and then you're going to put on multiple outfits on your sim or just one outfit of the item that is giving you the question marks or the red on your sim all right once you have that on your sim you give your sim a name give them some traits and you're going to save it to your gallery or save it to your household save the household to your gallery once you've done that you simply open up your sims for you exit the game obviously exit the game open up your sims for train porter then you like i showed you bef shown you before you go through you right click on the item that you want to get the mesh for you click find on google you go on google you see the information there it gives you the link for the additional mesh you get the mesh you drop it in your mods folder you don't want the item you double click you delete it and that is how you do it and now all i'm doing now if my game ever decides to load is to show you guys how i fixed the sweatshirt that was broken in the game okay we are here oh my gosh okay no i don't have any saves in my game right now and that's why my game looks so blank but that's fine okay we're here all right so i'm gonna just i'm not even gonna make a new sim let me just get a female sim here and just show you guys okay so let's go in tops we got an interesting looking sim and let's go into custom content as you can see this is a top from serenity which is going to show up perfect this is my test top by the way you guys i'm not going to remove it because i have the cc in my folder that's got the game anyway so this is the, the um the top by serenity and this is the recolored version as you can see now the recolored version works perfectly fine now let me know trying to change swatches over here let me know if this was helpful if you didn't understand because i went too fast or it was too much to take in i will add written instructions in the description box as well because i know i was going a bit fast and if you don't understand still let me know and i'll try and upload a second video a little less confusing for you guys but as you can see that is how you fix broken meshes or remove broken or unwanted CC from your game. I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Alright. Bye.